No, this isn't a bug in the new FIFA game. There are some sports moments that you just have to see to believe. So today, we're gonna show you some of the most impossible moments in sports history. Watch till big games in Atlanta in 1996, Carrie Strug had a bad landing and injured her leg. But to guarantee a gold medal for her team, Carrie had to make another attempt. Incredibly, the gymnast successfully repeated the jump, landing only on her healthy leg. She greeted the judges and collapsed to the mat, after which her coach had to carry her in his arms to the podium for the gold medal. That's cooler than Dre's victory in the Karate Kid. Zaya Holman was lagging behind her closest competitor by a whole four seconds, leaving not even the slightest chance of winning. But suddenly, she began to accelerate and did the impossible. Slow poke. Overtaking both of her opponents and finishing first by a margin of half a second. Ski crosser Armin Niederer spent most of the race in third place and didn't expect to win. But just before the finish line, all of his competitors fell, making Armin the winner. This is what happens to Spider-Man when he hears the name Aries Susanti Rahayu. After all, it took her only 6.9 seconds to climb a 15-meter wall at the 2019 World Cup of Climbing in China. It instantly became a new world record for women. Want some street magic? Watch carefully. The ball flies into the goal from the outside, but the goal still counts. In the Iranian Championship match, a defender threw the ball back into play by doing a flip. The ball flew 40 meters and bounced off the goalkeeper's glove into the goal. And John Rahm turned on cheat codes while playing golf and thought we wouldn't notice. The ball skipped over the water three times, made a sharp turn on the green, and dropped into the hole 205 meters away. Are we sure this isn't the sequel to Space Jam? And skier Emma Patterson was just coming down the Japanese Alps, but lost her balance and flipped end over end eight times like a tomahawk. Miraculously, she wasn't hurt. This is fine. American fighter Joaquin Buckley gave Impa Kasanganai the best knockout in UFC history. Looks like he perfected his strike by doing the bottle cap challenge. And this is why boxer Muhammad Ali is called great. Within 10 seconds, he successfully dodged 21 hits. Maybe he's also the chosen one. American fighter Kevin Randleman almost drove Theodore Emelianenko's head through the floor. This slam should have ended it all, but not only did the Russian survive, he was celebrating his victory just a minute later. Just watching that knocked me out. At the 1988 Olympics in Seoul, Naim Suleymanoglu lifted a barbell weighing 190 kilograms. Incredibly, the athlete weighs three times less, just 60 kilograms, with a height of 147 centimeters, which is less than the length of the barbell. Compared to this feat of strength, John Cena lifting 160 kilograms just looks silly. Look at this crazy backflip and turnaround on the small bars with no hands from the Soviet gymnast Olga Korbut at the 1972 Olympics. Now, this element is called the Korbut Flip and it's banned for being too risky. And motorcycle racer Filippo Papafilippou had clearly been playing too much Red Dead Redemption 2. He collided with one of his opponents at a speed of 320 kilometers an hour, but he managed to jump back onto his motorcycle and escape. Is it impossible to throw a frisbee into a goal 161 meters away? Not for Kevin Jones. Hey, Zena, you better watch out for this guy. Goalkeeper Mark Oxley hit the ball so hard that it flew almost the entire length of the field, bounced off the turf, and flew into the opponent's goal. This goal was the winning goal for his team. Maybe we should make him a forward. won the most unexpected gold medal in history. In the Olympic short track finals, he was in the back of the pack, when suddenly his competitors started running into each other, and everyone fell right before the finish line. Look at how casually he crosses the line like a boss. During a fight, an MMA fighter threw a missed punch and dislocated his shoulder. 
his opponent decided to help him adjust his shoulder and then knocked him out a minute later. Track and field athlete Infinite Tucker realized that he was losing right before the finish line and decided to switch from running to flying. This baseball player didn't leave the slightest chance of someone catching the ball because he knocked it out of the indoor stadium through an opening in the roof. Meet Hockey's Mr. Unlucky. 15 seconds before the end of the match, Dallas Stars' Patrick Stefan approaches the opponent's empty goal and misses, falls, and gives the puck to the opponents who tie up the score two seconds before the end of the game. At the 2018 Olympics, German and Canadian bobsledders took part in the final race and completed the track with the exact same time, 16.86 seconds. Therefore, gold medals went to both countries. If they had been sledding on the same track at the same time, there could have been space for Jean-Claude Van Damme. At the Olympics in Pyeongchang, a squirrel ran right in front of an Austrian snowboarder during their descent. Look at how it dodges the board. Whoa. French skater Suri Abanali felt that the judges were giving her low scores, so decided to annoy them by doing an impossible backflip. She did the same forbidden move at her last Olympiad and went down in history. Polish skier Pavel Babicki lost a ski during the downhill competition, but the athlete continued his descent on one leg at a speed of over 100 kilometers an hour and reached the finish line. Maybe it's time for him to become a snowboarder. Think this kind of mutual assistance only happens in cartoons? Well, at the Triathlon World Championship, Johnny Brown Lee was in the lead, but a few meters from the finish line he felt unwell and stopped. This gave his brother, Alistair, a chance to win, but instead, he helped Johnny get to the finish line. Everyone knows there are only two types of brothers. During a penalty kick in the Italian Championship match, a parachutist landed in the middle of the field and interfered with the kick. Maybe he's been watching too much Deadpool. This goal would be impossible to make again, because the St. Louis hockey player scored the puck off the referee. Alas, the goal was not counted. Maybe he just doesn't like this referee. These Thai boxers were working so well together that they knocked each other down at the same time. But then one of them got up. But this time, a winner couldn't be determined because both fighters had been simultaneously knocked out. For Russian pole vaulter Timur Morganov, this attempt could be his last, but luckily he got off with just some torn clothes. And Swedish athlete Angelica Bengtsson just broke her pole without even getting a chance to jump. At the qualifying competitions for the 2012 Olympics, gymnast Nastia Lyukin was performing an exercise when she fell off and landed with her whole body on the mat. But how beautifully she ended the performance. And that's all for today. I was so inspired that I'm gonna go do some exercises right now. What moment impressed you the most? Write in the comments and don't forget to like it. See you in the next video.